Hello everybody! Welcome to another Sunday Fun Day and I told you we were both going to be back because <sighs> we are here to talk about the Joker. Or actually I think it's just called Joker. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Uh, yeah, quick, a uh, quick thing real fast I want to explain. Poor Megan here is a little under the weather. She's having the allergy issues that I used to have, you know, had to deal with early on. And unfortunately, I have become <clears throat> a little less prone to them and poor Megan's now got them. <laughs> I feel very sorry for her. I, I know the feeling. Well, I'll just wait when it's cold and transitions back to warm. Ah, with a nice age, hopefully. <laughs> so... It's like, then it'll be your turn. Get your ass kicked by your allergies. Mm, pay for a nice age, y'all. <laughs> no. So, let's talk real quick about Joker. Uh, first off, I guess I'll lead us off. Uh, this movie's really not good, y'all. <sighs> If you can divorce yourself maybe from the idea of this having anything to do with the comic book character Joker or Heath Ledger's Joker, Jack Nicholson's Joker, Mark Hamill's Joker, Cesar Romero, I think, not Cesar Romero, but the guy who played him in the freaking Batman and Cesar Romero. Okay, I'm Cesar, not gonna... something or other. Yeah, hell, if you can divorce it from Jared Leto's cat joker thing that he did Ugh. maybe you can slightly enjoy this movie this is not joker is one of the big issues i first i'm gonna just take with this film uh, i from pure concept i did not like this joker to me is not an interesting character when you try to explain his backstory it's one of the issues i actually have with the comic book the killing joke and also the animated film itself I'm not going to get into the anime film that much beyond the weird thing where Batman and Batgirl have sex considering he's supposed to be like 10 or 15 years older than her. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> or the fact that Joker rapes her. Yeah. Yeah, it's a... It's, it's implied in the comic books and straight up stated pretty much in the anime film. It's fucked up. <laughs> Say at least. Uh so, yeah, I have my issues with the fact that I don't need an explanation for the Joker. I don't yeah. need, and nobody really needs it. And that's probably one of the biggest things, I think, that holds this movie back from the get-go. And I know people are like, well, you have to let go of these ideas of, you know, that... Yeah, we don't, we don't really need a backstory on this character. I mean, he's le best left mysterious. Yeah, it's like, one of the things that's always been much more interesting to me interesting to me is a joker who is a mystery he's an enigma in and of himself not no, Edward pun, no, enigma, no pun intended apparently yeah <laughs> but uh giving him a backstory is trying to explain madness in my eyes and honestly that's what this movie tries to do there is a unique... While also providing a social commentary on the mentally ill yeah, there's a lot of issues with this movie. If you can completely ignore the fact that this has a lot to do with the DC character, there's a big issue with the film. It's kind of painfully dull. Like, it is actually surprisingly boring. And not saying it's like, oh, I need to see the Joker do stuff, but to be fair, it's like, there is a lot of things just him and his mother kind of talking. Or him awkwardly laughing because he has a mental disorder where it makes him laugh randomly. Yeah. In yeah, he kind of explains, like, due to brain injury and or mental disorder, he laughs uncontrollably even when he's... It's a situation where he probably shouldn't be laughing. Yeah. Like in pain or... Uh, when he's sad or... Yeah, stuff like that. And that in and of itself is just a nerve unnerving not in the fact of him laughing 
Because his laugh is very obviously, it's trying to be Heath Ledger's Joker's laugh. And that's another issue I have with the film. But also, it has to deal with the fact that it's trying to explain every facet of the Joker. And it's like, I don't need nor want that. It's like, I don't need to have an explanation for why a crazy guy is crazy. I don't need to have a reason why a murderer is a murderer. It's not very interesting to me to watch movies like that, to see this attempt to try and explain the unexplainable. Sometimes people are just fucking crazy. Just straight up, y'all. And, like, for instance, uh, Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre. It doesn't try to explain that, it, you know, about the whole, you know, since being based on Ed Gain. I think his name's pronounced Gain. You know, it doesn't try to explain it. It's just, oh, here you're going to revel in this psycho's world and the family's world. There's no explanation given there. It's like, that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. <coughs> Hell, I would argue that in... <coughs> Poor Megan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to keep the coffee to a minimum. Or hell, I would argue that in the Nightmare on Elm Street films, even, it's like, we didn't need to have a huge explanation behind Freddy's creation and all that, even though it does kind of help a little, but even then, it's just like, well, how exactly did he come to sort of be, well, he was... His mother was raped by a hundred prison inmates. Yeah, a hundred maniacs. It's like... Eh, it's, a, it's a weird, weird moment, but also, it's a movie that's really divorced from reality, obviously. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Hey, your finger. No, yeah, there's something else in my eye. <laughs> but here, I don't know. If this was about anybody else, this had nothing to do with Joker, it would be an okay film. It's still ungodly boring at points. It's also, it kind of revels in its own anarchy at times. But in the same instance, also, there's one other issue. Joaquin Phoenix is not a good Joker. Uh, part of his issue is that he doesn't command a presence. Yeah. And I know people are like, well, he's trying to come into his own as a I Joker. I mean, he's fine as a you know, mental patient. But as the Joker? Or really, I think any Batman villain, he just really wouldn't work. He's too subdued, and I get that's supposed to be part of the thing. It's like, well, see what happens when a terrible society keeps pushing on the poor, the mentally ill, and blah, blah, blah. They're going to fight back and error. It's like, but this is not an interesting character. It's the biggest problem. It's like, he's crazy. It keeps wanting to throw in these weird, random things. Like, there is shit that they try to bring up for about a good 15, 20 minutes of the movie about Thomas Wayne possibly being his dad because that needs to be a red herring. Yeah, it's his mother, who's also not right in the head, insists that Thomas Wayne is his father. Mm -hmm. So he goes to confront him and learns that, oh, you were adopted while she was working for us. So there was there was no me and her. She's just delusional. Yeah. And even then, that's not a hundred percent explained because there is supposed to paperwork and during well, like this flashback sequence somehow that he's able to see. It's never hundred percent explained still. Like she says, like oh, he made those up himself and all this and that. It's like it's. It's like, okay, so pretty much we have a red herring created by a mentally ill person, so we have no idea what to think. Yeah. And, hmm. And this... Sorry, if y'all hear that, it's an engine break. And this little boy you see in the trailer... As Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. And, of course, we gotta kill Batman's parents again they die at the end of this movie because and then the fur roll is like okay yeah really gotta have the... the whole reason why is simple because of the joker and it's so so not, not even the joker himself but this movement that he inadvertently started 
because people <clears throat> see that three guys got gunned down in a... Three Wall Street guys. Yeah. And that's them. Oh, we're going to resist. Rah, 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 rah. Huh? Very much rising up against the one percenters. And... Oh my god, this movie's so fucking stupid. What's one to do? Again, it does not help that, again, Joaquin thinks as Joker is just not an interesting character. One, oh, he's crazy. No fucking shit, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, he, he, uh, he, he's a clown. Thanks? What else you gonna throw at me, movie that's gonna be this big revelation that I'm gonna give a shit about? Uh, 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 he murders people. Thanks, knew that about 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> it's just, it's constantly just, it wants to run over the same facts over and over again. There, and if I can give this movie any credit, if I'm going to be any positive, mm -hmm. there are some decent shots here and there. There are some decent bits of foreshadowing, but then they... It's like, oh, well, there's some decent foreshadowing. But then the movie goes, hey, remember that foreshadowing? I'll beat you over the fucking head with it. Because we have to learn that this one lady he's kind of crushing on, she's actually not really there with him. And he's just crazy. And I guess... He has his neighbor. He imagined this relationship with her. And imagine surprise, that... Surprise, surprise. Yeah, imagine a crazy person imagined something. It's... <sighs> It's exactly what you would think in any kind of movie that would look into mental illness. But it does it with all the depth of a sledgehammer to your face. Yeah, it tries to be a social commentary on mentally ill and the fact that, you know, our society doesn't want to or just can't take care of them or help them take care of themselves. While also being a bit of a social commentary on the riches keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer and down with the rich and, you know, the poor have suffered enough and need to rise up or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. There's... It... This movie also... And here's the thing that... The reason why I said it's like I can't divorce myself from this idea of all these other Jokers. Because it constantly wants a name check. Gotham. Thomas Wayne. Bruce Wayne. It's like, okay, so it has to be in the DC universe in a way. In fact, Yeah, really... like his laugh is very reminiscent of Heath Ledger's Joker. And at one point, he's on this talk show hosted by uh, Robert De Niro. Yeah, not uh, Jay Leno or not, um, what's his name? Johnny Car not Jar Yeah, Johnny Carson. Yeah. Thanks, movie. <laughs> but yeah, he's on this talk show and talking about like oh do I look like someone who you know could be a symbol or could start a movement or something like that and like very reminiscent of you know he Ledger's joke where saying do I look like a man with a plan yeah do I kind of look like the man with a plan yeah talking about it's like, I, it's like I'm just a dog chasing cars and I wouldn't know what what to do with myself if I caught one I you say it wrong it's like I'm just like a dog chasing cars I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I caught one He's way too creepy on Joker impersonation. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, but see, here's the thing: it's like Heath Ledger's Joker is iconic. Let's just put it that way. It's like there's no way you can either explain it or you can try and duplicate it. Yeah, duplicate it in any real good way. Cause it's just gonna be pale imitation. Yeah. So, what do they do here? They're trying to explain it, and that's the biggest thing I can say. Yeah, I mean, he's... He, he Ledger, he had a presence about himself. Even when he wasn't saying anything, he was just staying there in the room, you knew. Okay, what is the bachelor going to do now? Because you, you never know. It's like, okay, he, he's going to do something. Someone's going to end up dead or maimed or something. Yeah. And just, and, Joaquin Phoenix doesn't have that ever. I, but, I would say, he just so, he mumbles, like, half his lines, and the, the rest of the half of the movie is just him either, yeah, you know, just... Doing a Heath Ledger Joker laugh. You know, or just... Doing his dance thing. Yeah, you, know, you see him doing it in the trailers, just constantly throughout them. I was like, oh my god, really? Just... 
It's it trying is. to say something, but I think it's so dumb it doesn't know what it's trying to say. Yeah, it's just... It passes the runtime. Yeah, that's all it really does. Yeah, when we say this movie is so dull, nothing happens, and even when something is happening, nothing is happening, actually. Yeah, it's by the end of it all, you just... <clears throat> you don't care. That's the biggest problem. It's like, you... I don't get why they're like, oh, well, people might be... Might want to riot and do criminal stuff after this. Why? If they're stupid, they'll want to do that because oh, I want to be a child car. But honestly, it's like, okay, so in short, don't follow crazy people. Cool, so that means don't follow political parties. Thanks for that message. I got that loud and clear already. I think I've known that for how many years I've been alive now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so fucking lame, y'all. It, it's... It's an edgelord film. Honest to God, it's an edgelord movie. Oh, there is one other positive I can say for this movie. It connects technically Dark Knight with the DCEU, in all essence. Because there's so much people who are trying to make a big deal. This is part of DCEU, even though Todd Phillips has kind of divorced himself from the idea of being part of the DCEU. I was like, yeah, this does not need to be any part of any universe. In fact, it does not need to be a Joker movie. It's like, you want to make a movie about this mentally insane guy who takes on a clown persona to, you know. You want to see a movie about a mentally ill guy going fucking off on society? Rampage did a much better job of that. And guess who fucking directed that? Uwe Ball! On $15 in a, a used condom. That's probably all he had for the entire thing. Not, not, not even a brand spanking new condom, but ah, a used condom. He had to figure out how to use that used one. Hey, keep using it. It's got pre lubed. Ew. <laughs> Gross. What are you laughing at? You're so nasty. And just, yeah. It's bad that the movie. Once it finally gets into any bit of violence that the Joker is committing, it's, one, it's bad because it's CGI, blood everywhere. It's like, cool, so we can't be bothered to give the guy squibs or we can't be bothered to give the Joker a prop to beat the shit up. No, it's going to be CGI. Thanks, movie. Glad you spent $15 here. And oh my god, Walking Phoenix, I know you wrecked your body for this film, but freaking keep your shirt on. Yeah, and Joker doesn't need to be ripped, but I mean, he can be, you know, a normal dude, because that's fine, that's okay, just grab, John Reese davies would have been fucking fantastic. John Reese davies is fucking bonkers, and he has a normal kind of daddy spot. Let's pick it on the guy, whenever he was in Dracula, though, he's fucking hot. That'd do him, that's like his dick. John Reese davies Yeah, that's like his dick. I think you're thinking of John Rhys Myers. No, John Rhys Davies. Gimli? <laughs> Wait, I don't know who I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, why don't you use my phone? I at least got you. I at least got him. I am Yeah, I'm DB. I might be dumb, y'all. <laughs> might be Myers. Who knows? <coughs> oh no, he was in Dracula on uh, NBC, and he was. Uh... Yeah, John Rhys Davies. Yeah, John Rhys Davies. Okay. Yeah. From Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Sure, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I was thinking of. Clearly. Don't mind me, I'm dumb. I told you I'm dumb. <laughs> uh. And, you know. <laughs> but, it's, it's okay, you're pretty. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Just, uh, get, yeah, John Reese Myers. I ever say his name. John Reese Myers. Yeah. He can fucking do psychotic. He can pull off in between of hammy and actually giving a shit and that's just the big issue is like Joaquin Phoenix wants to do so method and to the point where it comes off less meth and more like hey I'm ripping off Heath Ledger thanks yeah at least Heath Ledger was entertaining Heath Ledger was also again like we keep saying he had a presence he fucking was there like you know it's like obviously he's a villain you know you're rooting for Batman to defeat him but at the same time, you're like, okay, I actually kind of like this dude. He's like with the disappearing pencil trick. How about a magic trick? It's like, 
this video. Like, Ta da! I was like, it's gone. Yeah, the first time you see it, I was like, the f okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you just gotta go with it and laugh. And mm hmm. So, yeah, was, I mean, only really a couple moments like that in this movie. Like, oh, I forgot to punch out! And punches the time clock until it falls off the wall. Yeah, it's like, okay, that was, that's very Joker-ish. But again, yeah. I'm thinking of Heath Ledger's Joker. Yeah. It's just, it, it, it's bad, y'all. It's really bad. It's venom levels of bad, I would say. <sighs> I think it would have to improve to be venom levels of bad. I thought venom was... I. Venom was somebody who understood so little about the character that they were making that they made a movie about an amorphous blob. This is a movie about a guy who knew so little about the Joker, despite there being just a plethora of choices of source material you could go with, and ended up making an amorphous blob. I don't see Joaquin Phoenix. I don't see Joker. I don't see Arthur... Fleck? Fleck. Fleck. Yeah, Fleck. I don't see Gotham. I see just a maybe sort of crazy dude who does dumb shit. I, mean, I don't... Yeah, because it doesn't really feel like Gotham. It just feels like New York City. Yeah. Imagine that's shot in New Jersey, too. Yeah, New York and New Jersey. Yeah. yeah like, I don't get the sense of Gotham. It's like, okay, well, what separates it from New York City? It's like... <laughs> Like, y'all don't really differentiate. You're just slapping another name on New York City. Mm -hmm. And expecting us to, like, go on with it. Like, okay. I wonder what's bad. This movie? Zack Snyder did a better Gotham City than this movie did. <sighs> I just gave Zack Snyder a Do you thing. see what y'all did, movie? <laughs> Do you see what you did? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, any more you want to say about Joker? movie <laughs> and again this like we did not need a backstory on joker yeah we didn't even see martha and thomas wayne fucking get gunned down oh god what if, makes how many movies now yeah it's like god damn batman's parents die a lot you I, I he has to constantly relive that trauma for the rest of his days and that's his only defining trait yeah he's the goddamn batman <laughs> I will give them this much. They didn't go with the way that we thought it was going to go. We were pretty certain they were going to just go with the original 1989 Batman and make it to where Joker, Joker was the one who killed his parents. No, In, in a some... way, Joker did, like, his movement that he started was yeah. what killed them. Do I look like the kind of guy with a plan? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, had to hurt you. <laughs> so, uh, what do you give this movie as a final score? <laughs> well, of course, it's going to have to be a 10. No, no, no. It's. What you figure with us bitching and moaning? Yeah, it's a woman. It's. This one. <laughs> I did not hate this, absolutely. But I did not care one bit about it. It was a lot of me just... This is not really interesting. This is not very... Oh, uh, this could look decent. This could be decent in a different movie. I give it... It gets a two only on the I, I, I want a divorce. <laughs> That's it. You want a mega divorce. You want a divorce to make it seem like we never even knew each other. <laughs> we call that eternal sunshine on a spotless mind. Yeah. Just, if I can give it any positive, it's the fact that there's some decent shots in the movie. There's a decent idea somewhere buried here. But it's underneath so many layers and so much our bullshit that it has to go through. And also in the fact that it's trying to explain the most enigmatic 
Enigmatic. Yeah, enigmatic. I'm stupid. Yeah. I don't talk good. <laughs> but it's trying to explain one of the most mysterious characters throughout all of pop culture. And we didn't need that. Sorry, it's not something we need. Hell, technically, I don't need <clears throat> to have an explanation why is Pennywise able to do the thing he's... I just say he's an otherworldly being. That's all it needs to be. We don't need to do like the fucking book and explain away. Because after a while, it gets really, really fucking silly. And here, unfortunately, it doesn't get really silly. It just gets kind of sad and depressing to the point where you're like, I don't fucking want to watch this. And that's the other thing I can also say about the movie in a real negative. This is not a rewatchable movie, even if I had liked it because it's just so tower the entire time and honestly it says a lot that it's like okay well you're trying to say a lot but you don't really say how to fix <laughs> yeah, it, it's a piece of shit that's too confused in its own want to make a message to say anything or <sighs> Better than pay attention to the mentally ill mm. or something I I don't know. It's my. Well, it's, it's trying to be a social commentary. It just. It's mex. It's it's message. It's all mixed up, like my words. It's mixed is very messaged. <laughs> How I you can say that? I don't know. How you got that out? I ain't about to say names, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, that's Joker. Fucking miss it. If you are absolutely bound to determine you need to go see it. Rent it from Redbox or something. Or wait till it's on cable. Yeah, it's not a good flick. It's really, really, really goddamn annoying at times. Walking Phoenix especially. I was just saying, it's like his laugh, if you do not like that in the trailer, you're really going to get annoyed throughout the rest of the movie. Because he does a ha ah! ha thing throughout the entire movie. Constantly. And I get that they're trying to say something, but it's like, Okay, after a while, it gets to be where I don't mind people are punching him. I'm like, oh, please, somebody punch him a little harder. So You're even rooting for the kids at the, end, or at the beginning. Yeah, it's like, oh, or please, just stab, stab him in the throat so he stops. <laughs> yeah, just, that's the scene on the trailer with the kids stealing the sign and beating the shit out of him. That's at the very beginning, very mm -hmm. first scene. And what's also bad is this movie is given away almost by the entire trailers, except for the bullshit red hair and stuff about Thomas Wayne. The entire movie is given away in the trailers. It's bizarre. Yeah. But yeah, <sighs> that was that piece of shit. So. Don't give us any money. No, don't. Uh, pirate it. There you go. Pirate the shit out of this movie. Uh, go sneak into the theater if you want to see this or something. You know, Do not pay money to see this. I have, If I've ever, you know just something bad. It's like, there you go. Go do that. But next week, we get to see a movie that's not so beloved by critics. Because, mm -hmm. oh boy, is Gemini Man getting pummeled already with early reviews. It looks alright. Doesn't look like maybe the trailer gives away the whole thing. Yeah, it's like, it's like I Okay, so Clive Owen's a bad guy and they cloned his DNA and train him to be this killer without emotion or something. I don't know. It's a premature move. I guess they killed his family or something like that. It's probably what's going to be. Something dumb. Oh, I'm worried yeah. about the movie, especially since it's an Ang Lee movie. Sometimes Ang Lee gets really far up his own butthole. Oh, but hey, it can't be worse than the Joker. Uh, maybe uh, I shouldn't say that because I said that with um, last year. Or in August, whenever I said, hey, you know, night school can't be worse than whatever, Happy Time Murders. Lo, lo and behold. Just as bad. Yeah. But hey, we'll see y'all next week. It's with, like they heard you and said, here, hold my beer. Yeah, hold my beer. <laughs> uh, but we'll see you next week, though, with Gemini Man. And hey, maybe we'll also throw the Adams Family review in there. Depends upon this one. <laughs> That's a face that says yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll see y'all next week, so bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.